Yo, we're back on some Destruction Warlock. It wasn't one of those one-time videos. We are going to be posting Destro Warlock on the channel, boys. But there's going to have to be Shadow Priest too and other classes. So, if you're here just for the Shadow Priest content, don't worry. There's still going to be plenty of it. I'm just going to have to, like, space it out between all the other classes that I'm going to be playing. It's fine, though, because, you know, Shadow Priest is bae. Can't quit on that guy. He's a fucking god. Anyway, let's see what we can do to this guy. Fucking make his life hell and send him a Chaos Bolt. Skadoink. Skadoink. Goodbye. All right, now we just blew that guy up, and now we got to run all the way over here. Rip Dark Soul, but I think it was worth just to blow that one guy up. Sometimes, boys, you just need to make that one person's life hell. That's all you need to do, and then you've succeeded in WoW. These Chaos Bolts. They're actually doing damage now. I mean, not that one, because he has a defensive call on up, but, like, the first one did, like, 44k, and it didn't have anything. Oh, my God, this monk's back. Do you think he's pissed? I'd be pissed if I got hit like that. I would be hella pissed. These Chaos Bolts I'm doing now are literally like dry Chaos Bolts, 29k. I'm still not fully geared to what I should be. You know, I'm not one of those fucking god godlike warlocks. I don't have like any Azerite traits. In fact, I lie. I've got like one Azerite trait in each piece of gear. I did get some of the best pieces of Azerite gear though. Like, I want to stack this three times. I've heard this is one of the best things to stack. I actually thought when I was reading it, it's going to be like one of the best things to stack. And I can get this on all three pieces of my gear. As you can see, I've got it on this piece too. And then I will end up getting it on this piece. So I think that's one of the best things to stack, especially for like 3v3 and 2v2. Obviously, anything that's going to make you do more damage with Chaos Bolt is going to be amazing. So we're actually doing pretty good. We just need to get some Azerite and then we will be good to go. I was thinking I was going to farm some island expeditions. Definitely not going to do it today because it's nearly the end of the day and I need to make some videos because today's video making has been fucking terrible. This is like the fourth video I've made, but like the other ones have been absolute fucking trash. So I'm like not going to post those. This might end up being trash too. Who will know? Who knows? You might never see this ever. I'd also like to point out I've got 209k HP now, which is like pretty cool because I'm now in the 200k's. But if you look at a fully geared warlock, they're like in the 300k's now. And I'm using demon armor and I've only just got 209k, so it's not actually that impressive. Like if I take demon armor off, I'm like 180k HP ish. So, you know, I'm not all the way there yet. I'm, I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. You know, give me like maybe another two weeks because gearing's kind of calmed down now. I can't really get any more gear from World Quest unless World Quest start giving me 400 pieces. On my Shadow Priest, my World Quest literally give 400. Well, the Emissary, they give 400 pieces. I wish they did that to my Warlock. My Warlock's just sat at like 370 pieces, but I mean, my gear is... I'll show you my gear now, actually. I'm 372 item level, about to go to 373. Most of the pieces are 370. I got a 365 ring. Most of the pieces are 370. Just starting to get some 385s. Got a 4 or 5 piece here. Got my 375 weapon from Conquest Cap. You know, we're getting gear, boys, but it's going to start slowing down now because we don't really get much from World Quests anymore. So the only way I can gear now is, like, from doing arenas or raids. We'll see what happens, though. Definitely still enjoying my Warlock a lot. Really fun spec to play, so I'm definitely not going to be quitting the gearing process just yet. I feel like I put way too much time in trying to get this gear that I've got now, and if I was to quit, like, what I've just done now, it'd, like, feel like a big fucking waste of time because I've been grinding, like, World Quests quests every day doing emissaries doing quests that literally don't even increase my item level unless it upgrades to like titan forge that's how desperate i've been to getting gear commitment boys commitment so i'm definitely not gonna quit this guy it's good doink easy peasy i'm also hoping that in next patch i don't know when they're gonna release the next patch that they're gonna bring out some system to uh get better gear because like right now the, like the best gear you can get from world quests and everything is like 370 you know, once you're fully upgraded, like you don't really get anything better. Like if the more item level you get now, you don't really get any better. Like you don't, they don't go to 380 or 390, then to 400. They just stay at like 370, 360, which is a little bit shit. But I'm hoping next patch, they're going to make it like a little bit higher and maybe they'll introduce some more catch up systems for getting gear full of level alts. That'd be nice. I wanted to talk a little bit about talents too, because I've been looking at the destruction warlock talents and it feels like you've got like a set few talents that you literally want to use 24 seven. And then there's like PV PvP talents, but the PvP talents also, like, there's a set few talents you kind of want to use, but then when you're looking at them, there's actually some really fucking cool talents that would, I want to experiment with, but I don't want to be experimenting just yet because of the gear and everything, but there's, like, Entrenched Flame, amazing, Focus Chaos, amazing, Demon Armor, amazing, like, these talents are fucking insane, right, but then you've got, like, Curse of Fragility, Curse of Tongues, Curse of Weakness, Never Ward, Cremation, Casting Circle, like, honestly, I feel like Warlock needs an extra tab here just below, like, Demon Armor. It needs, like, an extra slot. 
And I've been saying this about other classes too. Like, I feel like they should have four PvP talents because some classes have some amazing PvP talents, but then they also have PvP talents that they actually just like need as baseline. So it would be nice to have like an extra one, obviously. Wouldn't happen like, but I mean, Destruction Wallet just has some really cool talents. I feel like these curses, they should honestly, they should be like baseline for Warlocks. I feel like every Warlock spec should have curses as baseline. Maybe make them a little bit weaker. Like I feel like since these are talents, they've made them quite strong. So like this uh, increases the casting time by 30% for 10 seconds. This increases their attack, uh, reduces their attack power by 30% for 10 seconds. This one reduces their health by 15% for 10 seconds. I feel like they should make them baseline and definitely, definitely make them weaker. Wow, this rogue just opened on me to grow up me on the way past. Uh, I can't reach him. Looks like we're about to win this battleground. Easy peasy, boys. Can we get like a big cataclysm off before I go? Before we leave. Cataclysm. Chaos bolts. Run closer. Chaos bolts. On this warrior. Watch his HP. They're coming. Oh, he's too far. What about this monk? This monk's getting it. This monk's having it. Stay in my line, bro. Stay in my line. Chaos bolts inc. Oh my god, you karma'd. I think that Chaos Bolt went through your karma though. Unending Resolve Chaos Bolt on this guy. We've still got damage. We've still got damage, boys. We've still got it. Oh, look at this fucking damage. Chaos Bolt, one more. Take it for the team, boy. Ah, oh, I've got no buffs. GG. Cataclysm. Chaos Bolt. We're taking the killing blows, boys. Kick this guy. Got the killing blow on that guy. I don't know how the fuck I'm getting killing blows. I literally have no execute. That's another thing. Having no execute feels fucking dodgy. It's like not being able to finish people off. Like, dodgy as fuck, boys. Dodgy as fuck. Chaos Bolt 360 for the win. Okay, that was a really pathetic Chaos Bolt. Like, really fucking pathetic Chaos Bolts. Damn, how have we not won yet? Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out the next video. I'm going to be playing an Elemental Shaman. Started playing my Ellie Shaman again, so make sure you check that out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh.